The following video has been approved by the Jetty marketing team. The video has been rated Jetty. The following video may not be suitable for all viewers. G'day mate and welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, Jetty. I've been streaming Dyson Sphere over on Twitch and many have swung by and asked me how the Dyson Swarms and the Ray Receivers work. So today, myself and Icarus, we're both going to go through these help you start harvesting the power of the sun. Firstly, the Dyson Swarm is the precursor to the Dyson Sphere. Uh, it is a temporary structure and that's something you need to keep in mind and it will expire over 1800 seconds. So it requires you to launch up these solar cells, which we're going to launch up via an EM launcher, which we'll cover in just a second. But the solar cells actually have a limited life limited lifespan of 1800 seconds, which is about 30 minutes in game time. Now you can upgrade them with the research, 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 research. This solar cell research here, we can upgrade it with this research, uh, upgrade with this with this research all the way up to 3600 seconds. Okay, that is the maximum time that you can um, keep them up in the air via research, as I said. As for getting the cells in orbit, they're fired up from the EM rail ejector, aka the rail gun, and the rail guns will automatically start firing depending on the pitch and the yaw angle. So they fire up to about 60 degrees pitch angle, down to about five yaw angle, doesn't really matter they can hit anything and these angles are linked to which orbit your your sails are in as for the actual orbit itself and optimizations i've done some testing okay it's just light testing it's pre preliminary testing maybe this will change maybe this will actually change in the game and honestly i can't find the difference okay i can't find the difference between a close orbit a mid-distance orbit and a far orbit as you can see i have orbit number one which is the one everybody starts with which i have one sail at 29.9 .9 kilowatts i have orbit number four which is the tight in close orbit which is at 29.9 .9 kilowatts as well and then i have the far out orbit which is also 29.9 .9 kilowatts so i recommend go for fashion over form okay really enjoy it go with as many orbits as you want fill them all up have them all moving at different angles really really enjoy for optimal placement of the rail guns and your ray receiver, which we'll explain in just a minute. Now, I'm not an astronomer, okay? But as far as I can see, you have two options. You could put things around the poles, as I've done right here for this little demonstration, or you could put things around the equator. Uh, let's just turn off some of the overlays. So you can put things around the equator and you're gonna have 50% of your cycle will be day and 50% of your cycle will be at night. Or you can put things around the poles. Now, the poles, we have the advantage of when we're in this half of our orbit, our north pole is going to be constantly in the sun. When we're in this half of our orbit, our south pole will be constantly in the sun. At the moment, it's over here and it's going to be constantly in night as we do this half of our orbit. So they're really your two options. Uh, you can either... Be on the surface, anywhere near the equator, you'll have a good range for half the day, half the night. Uh, as you can see, our rotation period is 500, well, 600 seconds for my particular planet, and my orbital period is 1,000 seconds for it. So for 500 seconds of my orbit, I can definitely fire my cannons if they're at the North Pole. Uh, for 500 seconds, I can't, but if I put some cannons at the South Pole, I'd be covered. Uh, same with my rotational period. If I put them around one side of the planet, they're going to be firing for 300 seconds out of every 600 seconds. But it does mean that if I'm putting them on the surface of the planet rather than at one of the poles, my swarm is going to be much more stable because it's going to be firing more often rather than having a 500 second potentially blank spot where we're not firing at all. As for the ray receivers, well, let's explain them really quickly. So ray receivers, the title's written on the box, the description's written on the box. They receive the rays from the sun and your Dyson Sphere. Now, they have a couple of things that we need to take note of. One, they have a maximum output of power, okay? So that's limited to how much they're actually re requesting, receiving, I'm not getting into any of that now, along with all that's dynamic according to your research, but they also have this bonus here, this continuous receiving bonus, okay? So they continuously, the longer they continuously receive sunlight, the higher that bonus is. Now, if you put them at the North and South Pole, obviously they're gonna continuously receive power 
for a longer period. If you dot them around the equator, they will work. They'll always get some sunlight and different ones will come in and out of sunlight as the planet rotates. But if we go back out to our, our view again, we can see my orbital period is a thousand seconds. My rotation period is, is 600 seconds. So I can either have them at the North and South Pole and get at least 500 seconds out of of continuous sunlight out of them a little bit more because the world the, the, the sun the sunlight slightly curves it's not a, a hard fast perfectly dark line um i i.e you know your dawn and dusk period on top of that uh if i put it on the planet i'd get 300 seconds maybe a little bit more again because that dawn and dusk period so your advantage of putting them at the north and south pole is it also means you can cluster them okay you can put a whole bunch of them nicely close to one another and get bonuses out of each one of them as you can see this one's got six percent this one's got 0.3 percent so they're receiving different amount of powers each because one hasn't got a bonus yet and in fact i've actually got a whole heap of them at south pole which we might just go have a quick look at very quickly so now as i said i've been streaming dyson sphere here there we go have a few rail guns i've been streaming dyson sphere over on twitch and there's a good chance when this video goes live you might be able to catch me over on twitch by all means link is down the bottom left hand corner uh well URLs down the bottom left hand corner, there's a link in the top right hand corner. You're welcome to go check me out there and ask any other questions you might have. And luckily I'm in a lucky period where I'm actually getting sunlight at both the North and the South Pole right at the moment. Just because of where I happen to be at the orbit, we're coming close into here. And even though it looks like the North Pole's in dark, we were just up there and we were definitely getting a little bit of sunlight. So we're in a weird period where that gets no sun, that does get sun, that gets sun, that gets nothing, strength at zero, strength at 41. It's just starting to come in range. A little bit weird. So as I said, Twitch, I've been streaming at Dice's V over on Twitch. You can find URL down the bottom left, link up in the top right. By all means, swing by my Twitch if you have any more questions, have any more queries, anything else you want to ask. Uh, at the same time, you can always ask a question or suggestion down in the comment section below. Or a suggestion on what tutorial video you'd like to see next. I have been covering a lot of Dyson Sphere of late and I plan on covering more. Uh, or if you just can't wait, you can't wait for the next video, you can always jump on our Discord where we have many of Dyson Sphere players, both new and, well, both new and in the early game and also new and in the late game. Uh, happy to answer questions. We've also been sharing a lot of screenshots back and forth, helping one another out. It, it's been really good and really, really a really good community that's, that's just emerged out of out of nowhere. Uh, and again, there's a link up the top right-hand corner for my Discord because type in the URL, URL down the bottom left-hand corner is a giant pain in the ass. Trust me. So I do hope that explains your Railguns, your Dyson Swarm, your Ray Receiver problems along with along with like just getting this process up and running. Uh, as you can see, I went all out on the form and I'm definitely enjoying firing many many actually let's go to yv that view that view's a much better view yeah i've been enjoying dyson sphere i've been playing dyson sphere an awful lot and yeah i hope that explains everything uh well explains the swarm to you along with the ray receivers we will be having a separate video at a later later stage covering the actual dyson sphere because i figure that's enough of a different topic that we should do a separate video on it uh as always if you found this video helpful by all means click the like button so youtube can recommend it to others at the same time if you're new here click the subscribe button on the way out and as always thank you guys so much for watching i do hope you're enjoying and i'll see you guys in the next video all right bye